Hello YouTube, and it's good morning for me, even though it's 11 a.m. Um, I just got home from an amazing experience. I went to my first concert, as, limited, as lame as it is, that was my first, I went to yesterday. Um, in fact, I didn't even know I was going to it until about two hours beforehand. Because I was sitting home because I had nothing to do, as usual. And um, a friend who I barely talked to, I've met three times, they go to a neighboring school district, they're basically friends of friends, um, asked me what I was doing, I said nothing. Apparently they had floor tickets to the All-American Rejects concert, and the second person bailed out on them. So I got to go with them, it was pretty fucking tight. Um, there was four bands that played. Um, one, the first one was uh, boys like girls. I thought they were pretty good. Um, the thing is, we came maybe ten minutes late from when it started, so we only got to hear them for about five, ten minutes. But I actually uh, kind of liked what they were playing. Um, their style was pretty good, from what I heard. Couldn't hear. So fucking loud. It was intense. Um, second people up were the format. Um, I talked to some of my online friends, and apparently they thought they were amazing. I thought they were. Uh, I liked one or two of their songs. They played for maybe half an hour or so. Probably 20 minutes. And they were pretty good, but nothing I would really listen to. But I still thought they did a good job. Um, next was Motion City Soundtrack, which was actually a hometown band. They were originated in Minnesota. They played. Um, definitely a good band. I like them. That was pr pretty intense. Mosh pitting, um, body surfing. Finally, the All-American Rejects came up. They played for an hour, at least, but it took them about half an hour to set up. But it was worthwhile, because all the other bands had played on this like front stage with a curtain behind them. They opened up the curtain. The drummer set up uh, two, bass, or two guitars and the bass come out, and next to the, uh, the drummer is like this intense wall of just like LEDs for... TV display thing that they like showed and it was basically like a rave in the background. It was fucking tight. Um, they were really weird, but it was pretty funny because he went off on a story about how a little bird landed on his shoulder and he's like, you will call yourself the All-American Rejects. He sounded like a girl when he actually talked, which was really funny. I don't know if that was just the mic playing tricks, but it was pretty fucking funny. Um, he also made us do a chorus and just going, oh, like with the everyone, like the, the stadium seating as well as the floor. Um, there's this family of people on the floor. This is actually really funny, uh, a little bit. And um, it had to be a couple in maybe their 50s, like young 50s, late 40s. And they had two daughters who were probably ages of 13 and 11, if I had to guess. And they like were just basically standing in the middle, and they're sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. Then people were getting people up onto the crowd for crowd surfing, right? And he, the dad, told off the kid for setting people up to body surf. And I thought it was hilarious. Um, it was so crowded, I couldn't get out for a while, because I was really fucking thirsty. And... It had been maybe two or three hours, and I hadn't had anything to drink. So I finally, like, squeeze out. And I knew the prices were going to be inflated, but it cost $3.50 for a bottle of water, which they poured into a cup. You can't have bottles. They have to have the, the plastic cups. So I ended up just getting, like, a full throttle for four fifty. <laughs> but I was really feeling thirsty. I just downed it straight. Carbonation usually is hard for me to, like, just chug, but I... I did it. I was that thirsty, and I um, I instantly started sweating. So I guess I would have been sweating, but my body didn't have any fluid in it whatsoever. I felt really lightheaded, but I got that in there. It was really fun, though. I don't know. By the end of the night, at least half the sweat on me was not mine. It was intense. I got several compliments on my shirt. I was wearing um, my anti-Bush shirt. Um, and Bush's face on there and on the side says not my president. I think I, you guys have seen it before in one of my earlier videos. Um, that's
that's about it. Um, just a waiting for Mish David to reply um, to one of my videos so we can try out the conversation thing. Hopefully that'll work out.